Turning now to a triple murder suicide in St. Anne. Police say a woman's boyfriend shot the entire family, including himself. Our Justina Cornell joining us in studio now. Justina, what do we know about the suspect? Yeah, Brent, so that suspect is 34-year-old Coleman Mickelvane. Now, he has a long record with kidnapping, assault, and DWI charges. Just last week, he was arrested for driving with a revoked driver's license. Today, we also spoke to a domestic violence organization eager to stop the cycle of abuse. Here at the drop-in center at St. Martha's Hall in St. Louis County, there's a garden rooted in grief. And we wanted to do something to honor those lives that had been lost, women who had been murdered in domestic violence situations. Names and dates dangle off these flowers and butterflies. Each one represents lives lost. We did the most recent dedication about a month ago on a Monday morning. And by Monday afternoon, we had two more names that we had to add to the garden. And now the garden grows with three more names being added. Shortly before 8.30 Monday night, police arrived to the 4100 block of Jane Avenue in St. Anne. St. Anne Police Chief Aaron Jimenez says a mom and her boyfriend, 34-year-old Coleman Mickelvane, were fighting over a car. Jimenez explained Mickelvane had his license revoked, he had been drinking, and he wanted to take the car out. During the argument, police say Mickelvane shot his girlfriend in the face, and her 9-year-old daughter was watching on the back porch. Detectives Lauren, that's when Mickelvane shot at her several times, shooting her in the hand. The child escaped and ran next door for help. We're told that's when he went back inside, shot the other two kids and himself. Everyone died except the nine-year-old girl. I think the most frustrating part for me is that this is not, this doesn't have to happen. St. Martha's executive director, Jessica Woolbright, is frustrated and saddened by a situation she's unfortunately seen often. Our own state of Missouri ranks sixth in the nation of women who are being murdered in domestic violence situations. What we are seeing is an increase in the severity of the violence. So we are hearing a lot more about women being strangled. And unfortunately, the common thread to everything these days seems to be guns. While a garden is meant to grow, Woolbright doesn't want that to happen here. And there are lots of resources out there, but this is the entire community's problem. It doesn't just happen in certain neighborhoods. Five-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy died at the scene. Their nine-year-old sister is still in the hospital and is expected to survive. Justina Cornell reporting.